But again, good morning. My name is Mike Nagel. I'm the President and CEO of Momeris Innovations. It's a pleasure today to talk to you about Momeris and our FDA cleared bioelectric wound care technology. Our country today, as I mentioned earlier, has a staggering problem in wound management. <clears throat> Over 1.5 million people suffer each year from surgical site infections. 6.7 million Americans have chronic wounds, and over 78% of those have non-healing wounds that are infected with bacterial biofilm. The problem is extremely costly, both economically and in terms of human suffering. This translates into a $12 billion market opportunity. Within this market is the advanced wound care segment. The areas in which Volmeris currently participates are depicted on the purple bars on the right, equating to over seven billion dollars. In the management of acute and chronic wounds, there are two significant issues the standard of care has not overcome. First is the use of cytotoxic silver products, and secondly, prevention and disruption of biofilm infections. There are several reasons listed here for the growing concern about the use of ionic silver that's currently used in silver dressings. On the graph on the right, you can see that VDOX technology from Volmeris does not release any silver ions in contrast to the top silver dressings on the market. Biofilm is increasingly recognized as a culprit in wound infection inhibiting healing. If you recall from my previous slide, biofilm is implicated in almost 80% of infected and chronic wounds. If you're not familiar with biofilm very quickly, it's a shield that bacteria form to protect themselves from antibiotic and immune system attack. Infection remains a big problem in wounds, and biofilm is heavily implicated. So how are we solving these challenges? Simply put, we're using electricity to support advanced wound healing to tackle biofilm head-on, all without using high-volume silver or any added chemicals. A close-up look of our VDOX technology reveals its elegant simplicity. It incorporates microcell batteries embedded in a substrate, when a conductive medium is added, such as wound exudate, saline, or hydrogel, it activates the batteries and produces electricity. VDOX technology is inherently inspired by the body. On the far left, you'll see that electrical fields exist naturally in everyone's skin. This is called transepithelial potential, or TEP. In the middle image, we'll see when the skin is wounded, or our skin is wounded, electrical change occurs. The field lines reorient themselves towards the wound, and this physiologic change is called the current of injury. Think of this current as like an electrical highway that our skin creates for cells to be delivered to the wounded area and to drive healing. On the far right, you will see VDOX technology. It mimics the skin's current of injury. We essentially energize the entire wound surface and support the skin's natural healing process by accelerating cell migration and re-epithelialization. VDOX technology almost all, <clears throat> also exerts robust antimicrobial impact, including ability to prevent and disrupt biofilms. Let me show you some benefits real life of VDOX technology. In the study of burn graft donor sites, you'll see VDOX technology on the right with a 72% epithelialization rate versus 47% of the standard of care group. This represents a 53% faster healing than standard of care. Here's a glimpse of how electricity in our product affects biofilm. In a Sentinel study published in the Annals of Surgery, VDOCs demonstrated the ability to both disrupt and prevent biofilm infection. In the study of deep burn wounds, biofilm infected wounds were treated with either a placebo or VDOCs technology. At final wound biopsies you see on the right, you'll see a complete absence of biofilm. Our body of evidence also continues to grow. The very top, uh, you'll see that we have a burn study with the Department of Defense. We have 23 peer-reviewed publications and four randomized clinical trials in progress. The Department of Defense trial on the right, as I mentioned, is a $2.2 million Department of Defense grant. Enrollment in this blinded randomized trial has been completed, and we expect those results in Q2 of this year. Also, very quickly, we expect to get results from the University of Michigan study, which is also completed enrollment. We have two additional trials to begin by the end of this year. We've also spent considerable effort to protect our technology. We have over 39 patents issued to date. And importantly, IP is controlly owned and 
by Vomeris. We have full portfolio of wound dressing products with broad FDA cleared indications for acute and chronic wounds, both partial and full thickness. We are commercializing both the U.S. and outside the U.S. We have regulatory approvals in 11 countries. We have sold over 800,000 devices to date, but we are very only in the very early stages of revenue captured due to this enormous opportunity. We already have a small footprint in each one of these spaces that are mentioned on the slide, most significantly in orthopedic and sports medicine surgery through a licensing and distribution agreement with Arthrex. While our products are already FDA cleared for indications listed here, we will leverage our RCT evidence to strengthen our market penetration as we enter new areas. We have laid a foundation for sustainable growth. Core elements are in place and now we are ready to fully commercialize. Vomeris, Vomeris is seeking strategic relationships with companies or investors having the following. Presence in the wound care market, an established global and sales distribution network, uh, for the investment firms and interest in entering at a late commercial stage. We are seeking up to $25 million in additional capitalization to implement our full commercialization plan. Franklin Mountain Capital, our current investor, is committed to participate fully in this commercial round as well. Large opportunities in wound care have not gone unnoticed on Wall Street as of late. This slide shows healthy market capitalization rates ranging from $300 million to over $2 billion in valuations. The company Organogenesis, second on this slide, is one of the best performers in all of NASDAQ over the last year. Our management team is highly experienced in the medical device market. We have over 24 years of combined experience with Vomeris Innovations alone. Our board of directors is backed by Franklin Mountain Capital, which is a family-based office in Scottsdale, Arizona. In summary, Vomeris is positioned, priced, and prepared to disrupt the standard of care in this large and growing market. Thank you very much for your time and attention.